All right, welcome back. Uh, so we're gonna talk about the uh, IR sensor up front here. Uh, so the IR sensor uh, has been used in the remote control um, and we know how to do that. We would uh, create a remote control object, uh, but it's got two more modes uh, that we wanna talk about this time that are analog modes. Uh, and so here's the APIs for it. So I, I put remote control in here as a reference, uh, but remote control was digital, like pressing buttons. To be honest, the remote control is actually the hardest one to use uh, and we already know how to do it. Uh, so we only want uh, to learn about these other modes. Uh, so there is the infrared sensor. So what's the distance away from things? Uh, and then it's got this cool mode called Beacon Seeker. Uh, what Beacon Seeker does uh, is if you put your remote, like you push this top button to put it in beacon mode, it's transmitting where it's at. Um, and the robot can actually tell pretty accurately, hey, how far away is the remote? Uh, and at what angle is the remote at? And so what you can do is you can actually like have your robot drive to it uh, and pick it up. It turns out it's a little hard to actually do, uh, which I'll show in a video here in a minute, uh, but we're gonna learn about these two modes. Um, and you can see that they're kind of easy because there's only instance variables uh, and these instance variables are integers and there's no methods. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty easy to, to kind of figure out how to use. Let's talk about the proximity sensor first and then we'll talk about the beacon pickup. Uh, so for the proximity, uh, it just tells you the distance things are away. The units on it are kind of annoying in my opinion. Um, their percentages, um, one through 100, which I think is kind of lame. It should just be like inches or centimeters or something like that. Um, so technically what it does is it tells you how far something is away as a percentage of full range, and full range is 70 centimeters. Um, so it tells you how far it is away um, out of 70 centimeters. So 100% would be 70 centimeters away. Now it turns out that the sensor is inaccurate to the point that if you wanted to just think of them as centimeters, uh, that would work out fine, right? Um, so it uh, isn't a great sensor. If you really want to determine distances, well, buy an ultrasonic sensor, right? But it's it's good enough for a lot of the things you're doing. Um, so if it's close, uh, like, you know, like super close, um, it'd be a number that's like around 10 or less. Once you get super close, it stops working well. It's not really made to work super close. Uh, so if the number is 10 or less, basically you're pretty darn close, right? Um, if you're 20 to 40, that's kind of the range that it does well. Um, so 20 to 40, and I mean, in the range of 20 to 40 centimeters. In my head, I think of them as centimeters just because it's easiest. Um, from 40 to 70 centimeters away, it kind of works. And then at some point, um, it just kind of stops working, right? So you get, I don't know, somewhere in the neighborhood of this far away. And that's about all the farther it goes. So what it's for is it's, it's kind of for like seeing when you get close to the wall um, or seeing if there's something in front of you. Um, and so uh, it will tell you the proximity, which is just an integer number. Um, and we've got a module in it that just says like, you know, beep when the hands are in front of you. So that's proximity uh, with the infrared sensor. You can see that you make it, there's only one of them. You don't have to pass in anything and it'll tell you the proximity. Uh, the next one is the beacon seeker. Uh, let's watch the video for this one first. Um, so this one is um, gonna be finding and picking up a beacon. Now this video is not perfect, um, and I, I actually left a not perfect video for you kind of intentionally to show that it's hard. And so you can see that what it's doing is it's trying to find the remote. Uh, you can see that the remote has the little green LED on, um, and so it found it. Um, it kind of pushed it a little bit. It's easier to do this if you're on a surface that's not carpet. Um, so you can see here I put down one of these like uh, pads because sometimes you want to push your remote and have it not fall over. And so the goal of this is you're going to grab it uh, and pick it up and then your program will stop after it puts it down uh, and your program will say hey hit enter to find it again so you hit enter uh, and it'll find it again and so what it needs to do is it needs to search for it um, so you can see that mine um, is kind of barely searching for it um, but it really it should spin uh, to try to find it so mine wasn't working out perfect but for the checkoffs we're going to kind of set it where it's sort of in the range and it's going to have to find it this one's gonna fail, by the way. Um, so it kind of found it, uh, and there it should have found it, uh, but something went wrong, it tipped over, and it didn't work, right? No big deal. Uh, so to get this part checked off, you have to prove that you can do it. Um, and if it works, you know, two out of every three times, or, or even one out of every three times, that's good enough for a checkoff. And so you can see this third time, uh, it worked just fine. Uh, cool, so I'll cut it off there, but that's the, uh, that's the task you're gonna be doing uh, with the beacon mode. So beacon seeker, 
Uh, so Beacon Seeker needs a parameter. It's kind of like the IR remote for what channel are you on? So you can actually like decide, hey, do I want to seek channel one, two, three, or four? Uh, this is nice because if there's people around you that are doing channel one, you can switch to channel two, right? Usually people use channel one. Uh, the Beacon Seeker has two instance variables. It's got one called distance, uh, which is a number from zero to 100. It works like proximity. It just works better um, because this is an active beacon um, and it can actually tell the distance much better with an active beacon than just reflecting off the wall. So it works pretty well, zero to 100. You can go all the way down to like one and two and it'll like keep doing well. Um, if it doesn't see anything, it gives you this special value of negative 128. So if it says negative 128, that means that I don't see squat, right? And so that's useful of like knowing if you see something or not. And then the zero to 100 value is how far away. Um, and I I'm pretty sure it's in percentage as well. Uh, but again, if you think of it as centimeters, it'll work out fine. Heading is in degrees. Uh, so I think negative is to the left and positive is to the right. Um, and so you can figure out how to get like on the right heading first uh, and then drive to it until your distance is small enough and then you grab it. It won't work perfectly, but if it works good enough, you can get the check off on this part. Uh, so that's the beacon mode. Uh, and we're going to use these in a couple modules. The first module is um, beep at hand. So when you put your hand in front of it, it just beeps at you. The second one is beacon seeking. And then the third one is um, beacon seeking, but putting it into your library, right? So that's what's going on uh, with the beacon. Uh, cool. So now you've got two of the three uh, analog sensors uh, figured out. Uh, come back next time and we'll talk about Pixie. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.